Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with Ludum Dari 38. The Ludum Dari is a two part jam and compo, so there's a competition that's stricter, 48 hours, you cannot work in teams, you can't use pre made assets, and there's just a whole bunch of rules that restrict you. And there's also the jam, which is an extra day, you can work in teams, you can use pre made assets, stuff like that. The theme for this Ludum Dari is a small world. There are a lot of entries in this jam, so I'm going to be playing the entries that are put in my spreadsheet. There'll be a link in the description so you can add your game to it and I will play it. I'll be playing all of the entries on there and I'll be writing about my favorites at some point. That'll be up on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout. Um, I'll be playing 10 per video for a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out. All my info is also in the description so you can check me out and follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon if you can and stuff like that. So check that out. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. Next. We're playing Giant Friend. This is obviously the post jam version because I tend to play that. Uh, mouse to rotate target space stop. You can only move the target as far as you have uh, before, so far before you have to stop, smash stuff. I like smashing stuff. I like games that let me smash stuff. Well, let's watch a cutscene. I like cutscenes. Wow, this city looks boring. Wow, there's a city in my forest. I like my forest. Now there's a city. There's a donut place. I probably like donuts. Let's be honest. Isn't it like these like sculptures and they stand up to everything? It's not actually letting me stomp stuff. There we go. Yeah, we have a time limit, so we need to like hurry this up. I like how trees count as like property damage. Kill the animal? Does that count? Probably damage? Should probably get to the goal. But I just like destroying stuff. Stomp. Look at that, that's a big building. Could have stomped on that quite a bit. There's a tree. We need to get over there though, so. I get we're like running now. We made it to the goal. Yay! Now we get to break stuff in the city. You can't break such big things, but... This might be an easier way to do stuff that you can miss sometimes. Yeah. We're mainly only breaking, like, post office boxes. Just wondering if we could rip down, like, the little topper to the building. I guess not. Killing animals and stuff doesn't affect our score anyway. Very interesting. Next, we're playing the core. All right, so select a level, space ready to play. Oh, this is quite interesting. Pick this one. Select from the palette and place tiles, press space, uh, or enter to attempt. Okay. Select from palette. Where's my mouse locked in though? So how do I select? Okay, there we go. R reset. Okay. Where'd my mouse go again? I don't know what that does, but okay. Wow. Oh. Restart. So maybe if we go this way, we'll hit that wall. Or we need this one. So we can go down, this one, this one. Is that it? Oh, we need an out portal. Ugh, now I have to place all these again. I think that's an in portal, and I think that we need an out portal. I'll select you, select you. So it goes in there and then out there. Yay! That took me way too long. Yeah, I probably should have just read that. Alright. Let's go in you because I don't have a wall blocker for that. Why would you need to come out here, maybe? And then we'll go here. There. 
and I'll go there. Look at that. I'm awesome. And those pieces just like disappear from the earth. Next. We're playing Invaders of Yekathar. Alright. Oh. Yep, these are invaders. And I'm already doing badly. The jump is a whole lot bigger than I figured it would be. Nope. Just hang it up here, wait for them to come up. But then when they fall, that's when like the these little things are. And I feel like I need them. Nope. Nope. Ugh. It's kind of interesting that they made their, like, extra point thing fall to the bottom. Because it makes it more balanced when it comes to me just sitting up here going like this. Although I do have a slight knockback, which is why I fell. Alright. Alright, let's get rid of you real quick. Wow, that one like hit me off. Ugh. I've already destroyed two. Stop. Stop. No. Wow, that one like, came right over. It's a simple little defense game that I'm probably going to lose very soon. <laughs> Next. We're playing Damn It, Don't Die. I think this is a little hamster ho Oh my gosh. You're a son of a hamster, you know that? Oh, he died! No! Okay. Try again. I think I, I didn't do well. Huh. Okay. I was so surprised by how cute everything was. Stop it! So you just have to click a lot so they don't die? I think he died. Alright, I'm not doing very well. Um, but I love the fact that... It, th I love the idea that a child, probably. Some people say speak of the devil. Sometimes they say speak of the hamster. No, don't go there. I mean, that's fine. I lost a nun on our honeymoon. What's going on? Alright, so we have pregnant hamsters, which isn't good. I don't think you should be doing this to me either. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you in the bathtub? Stop, stop eating the wires. Guys, I made you this house. Oh, no. I think he died. Oh, oh no. Aww. I like this huge house and all of these things that could kill our hamster. Oh, you're supposed to be able to click on the fridge to distract them. Yeah, let's actually do that. I'd forgotten that you can click on the fridge to distract your hamsters. So we'll just start that up very fast. Right. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Have some more food. No, no, no. Don't go in the bed. The nun going on a honeymoon. Ooh, I hit my thing. No, 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 Gosh, no, no, no. Go eat food. No, 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 not in the water. Okay. I would not suggest this type of house for your ham ham. It sounds like I might be dying. Okay. This is a pretty fun game. It's very chaotic. But in the best sort of way. Oh, that was so close. Okay, grab you again. Oh, they're gonna make more. Oh. We can stop them, but that would take a lot of effort. Next. We're playing Retro Hacker 1993. Help for a list of commands. Good to know. Today begins your journey to become the greatest hacker ever of the pseudo early 90s. But for some reason, the modem isn't working. You should fix that. Type help to see what you can do. Okay. Alright, so I can. Oh. Tutorial. The help command provides a valuable list of actions which can be performed in the offline console as well as some which can be used during connections. Now, we should try connecting to the modem to see what's wrong. To establish a connection, you need to dial a device's address, similar to a phone number, so first we must find the address of the modem. Luckily, we have the address book command for that. Try it now. Alright, so, address book. Alright. Here we can see two devices already in the address book, one of which is the modem. 
we can see that the modem's address is this, and we could dial directly using that. However, because the address is allized to the address book, we can also use the allized home modem when in connection. It's possible to use address book to save new addresses so you don't have to keep track of them. Alright, well, I'm going to just put home modem then. Legal command. Okay, I'm wrong. Alright, so 192. Legal What? I'm a bit confused. We're in connection. Let's close. Let's breach. Bypass the phone direct interface with this. Let's breach our home thing. Is that what we're meant to do? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at these types of games. Why is that illegal? Maybe I need to have the rest. Breach. 192. 168. Oh, wow. Oh, one. Legal command breach. Why? B R E A C H. Hmm. All right, maybe we need to do the dress book again. Home modem, local test rig. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with these numbers, that's all. Maybe I need that. Why is this an illegal command? I don't think I understand. And I knew I wasn't going to understand this very well. Um, let's do dial, maybe. Oh, do we need dial? I didn't even type the right number last time. 6801. And see, I just like to dial. I say the address home dial. So that command is that you can see in... in uh, the dial command is what you use to initiate interlinked connections between your device and others. Once a connection has been made, you are able to remotely interact with the other device. However, it prevents your access to the most normal offline commands to attempt to connect. You can either um, enter, you can enter either valid address or an alias, uh, alias from the book. All right. Current status disabled. Okay. Now that you're connected to the modem, we can see that it seems to be disabled. Let's see what we can do about that. Try running the modem's help command. Um, enable. Generally a good idea to attempt to do help on new advices on most, um, as most are different. Here we can see a command to re-enable the modem, so let's try that. Enable. Oh, it's gotta be cats. Device failed to activate. Oh dear, it seems like that was enough. Sometimes being connected to a device's front end isn't enough to get the job done. In such circumstances, you'll need uh, to interface. All devices network are like small worlds of their own, like snow globes, and in these self-contained uh, digital spaces is where all the important stuff is. You need to interface with the device completely in order to access the minute, uh, minute, minute, digital spaces, which you can do well connecting using the dollar sign interface command. Ooh. Oh, this looks cool. This seems like a really nice and interesting game. It's just not going to be able to be shown all in one minute. Um, but it looks really cool, actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to follow it, but I can, which is great. So, yeah. Next. Small oh. Small World. 20XX. We're playing Supermarket Your Sneak. Your town is ravenous in anticipation for Thanksgiving dinner. Excitement for sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, cobbler, and turkey give the populace the will to survive until mealtime. Tens of small towns are running around in preparation. The need for those last few, ever important ingredients leaves the small towns, people you knew from your youth, roaming the grocery aisles, becoming less fun to talk to every moment. However, they say that if you can traverse the exotic aisles of small town grocery, Avoid the talkative towns, and grab each item on mom's shopping list before your phone runs out of battle life. You might just ensure your family's dinner and survival. And with this, the story of one small town and shopper begins. In the supermarket scene. <laughs> cool. Love Thanksgiving. Sweet potatoes, canned cranberries, frozen, uh, frozen cobbles, cobbler, turkey. Okay, 
Let's just sweep potatoes. Let's just sweep potato. Alright. Let's go this way. Got it. Canned cranberry sauce. Oh yeah. I like how it shows me where each item is. Alright. 91%. Man, I should get like a little battery pack. Oh no. Don't come down this hallway. Great. Canned cranberry. Got it. Frozen cobbles. Oh, cobbler. It says cobbler. Frozen cobbler. My mom. My mom didn't really do things. My grandmother would never serve frozen cobbler. Ah, no, I got caught. So good to see you. Timmy just hasn't been the same since they put him on Kitty Prozac. He meows, but there's no light in his eyes. Alright, but now they don't have like a little area that they're walking through. Like, I don't, like, they don't, I don't have to worry about them again, which is at least a positive to running into them. Nope. Oh, gosh, you ran right for me. Hey, the cards are going right, listen, I hope you know that Jay-Z's verse on Monster was doing my job. There's no way he would consciously write something that bad. It's all made to make Kanye look better. Okay. Old man that has some really solid opinions on music. I can't go down that way, so. Let's grab the cobbler. Turkey. Alright, we're nearly done. It's a pretty fun little game. Next. We're playing Bamboo Life. Alright, let's grow your small world. So, I'm making a little world for my, my bamboo. You found a bamboo seed. Click here to select it. Plant it on some dirt. Click the bamboo to make it grow faster. Okay. Getting some bamboo. You got another bamboo seed. Plant it. Okay. Just clicking them both. Getting some bamboo. Getting some seeds. Alright. Bam. Let's put it there. Okay. Getting some bamboo. You've unlocked uses for your bamboo. So we got like a panda. Alright. We gotta place a panda into our world. Here you go, panda. Feed your panda some panda chow. I need more bamboo for pa bam panda chow. <laughs> uh, why don't you just eat bamboo? Okay. Here you go. Yeah, it'll be facing that way. Okay, let's go. Boom, boom. Feed your pandas. I have at least two pandas. Right, I should probably. What's this? Soil. Okay. I should probably have like a little panda area. But yeah, I'm gonna get some flooring so you pandas can live on the floor. Cause I feel bad. Eventually, I'm just gonna have a garden that does whatever it wants. Let's put a panda there. Panda. Oh, let's get rid of this panda as well. Panda. Nice you. Other panda. Awesome. I like the little quest that keeps me on track. Grow your small world to over 20 dirt. So we get more dirt by feeding the pandas. Panda chow. This one's never even had panda chow, so you can, can have your first ever panda chow. Congrats. Oh, plant some more bamboo. Awesome. He's numbing away. Give more seeds. Alright, to over 20 dirt. All right, I was wondering if I should just put down flooring because I'd rather have some more flooring areas, but nope, this is what it wants. Panda chow. Okay, I bought some panda chow. Whoops. I'll feed you both some panda chow. Enjoy. Some more seeds. We'll plant the seeds. This is a pretty simple game, but I like sort of building my world like this. Get two more of these. Next. We're playing Imperative Righteousness Planetoid Domination Plan. It's a game for two to four players, so Lewis is here. Hi. 
You must destroy enemy towers to eliminate them. The surviving player is the winner. Your abilities, units, and plants are randomly generated when play when play begins. Select the number of players. So how many players can we have? Eight. All right, we're two. Generating. All right. So I'm gonna go first. Um, I'm gonna create a unit of sheep. Maybe you don't have enough freedom. How many freedoms do freedom I have? Kilograms. Yeah, I have five. Can I put a whale? Oh yeah, I have four. I've not enough for anything, do I? Alright. Eagle. What does this one cost? Eight. Freedom eagles are expensive. Freedom eagles are expensive. The squid. Alright, I'm going to end my turn because I, I get zero per turn, though. That doesn't make sense. What? You don't have enough freedom. But it's your turn. I All don't right. know. Resource management. It's, uh, it says resource man. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Can't spawn in outside of range. So that's your range. Alright. Alright, do you have zero? Why do you have zero freedoms? I don't know. It says you have zero. So how do I... You have zero. You don't have enough for anything, babe. How do I actually get freedom? Freedom kilograms, two yeah. there, it says. But that's telling you what it's worth. Capital, don't let it get destroyed. I want a sheep. Why is my area so, like, weird looking? High tower. This is my tower. I get, I have four. Sheep is five. I don't have five. I don't have enough for anything. So resource management, it says resource management. I don't understand how we get more freedom. The developer said that the game was kind of unfinished and stuff, but I just, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I'm not sure either. Do we draw a line, or...? No idea. Huh. I don't get why you started out with none. I like the look of the world. I like the look of the things orbiting the world. I just wish I n understood the game a bit better. Next. We're playing Libre. Now I'm gonna pick English. I'm sick of this life. It's been so long roaming along the space alone. Picking space junk is easy money, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Is that a tiny planet, or is it an abandoned spaceship? Maybe I'm lucky and I'll find something of value. Libre. Or Libre. Yeah, Libre. I'm gonna call it Libre. Sure. If you are hearing this... It is because you've been trapped by a breakdown. Please repair the reactor so we can escape. I like this, like, person that's there. Okay. How do I repair you? You're an up bit. You're an across bit. What? I think I switched those two. So this one. Mm, should have made it so that you could see my mouse. Cross. What's this one? Cross. Yeah, there we go. So basically, you click on each of these squares, and it'll show you what type of line it is. Like if it's an angle or what. Um, and if it's an angle. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, like a right angle, or maybe a. I don't know if it's a right angle. We're gonna need an angle here, but not that sort of one. I didn't realize that you'd probably need my mouse for this. So you wanna switch those two. So we left click to switch. Now it goes up. It goes over. Um, it needs to go down, so this one probably switches to that one. Logbook. The subject progresses even faster than expected, and I was, uh, and they said I was crazy. So there's lots of different levels. It's just like a little puzzle game where you don't see them all unless you click and look, which is a really interesting way of doing it. Next, we're playing the tiny astronaut. Jump run. I didn't, I didn't look at the controls. Right, planet skinned. None. It's grassy and water. Uh, well, 
Clouds harmless. Okay. Alright, so inhabitants are deadly. So yeah, we don't want to run into them. Alright, so they give you some information on the land. Oh, the, cloud the clouds are harmless. Sorry, the clouds look different. And I was like, ah, oh, the clouds are going to kill me because I was going to jump into one. We basically have to run back to our ship after scanning each planet. I guess we're some sort of astronaut who documents the world. Clouds are deadly. Okay. But there's no one here, so that's good. And I don't mind the waters. I kind of go a little bit under the water, but it's fine. I don't need to jump out or anything. All right, how landscape deadly lava. So now we can't touch the water because it's lava and not water. There's also no one's here, and there's no clouds, so clouds are harmless. The different worlds are really neat. So clouds deadly and how deadly, deadly acid. This whole planet, this planet's just filled with dead. Ah, my helmet made it back to my ship. Next.